So um, as the Fed uh, shifts towards an accelerated taper, I wonder what your read is on financial stability risks right now. I mean, these, these periods can be, you know, uh, it seems like the taper process has gone fairly smooth so far. But, you know, wh what do you see in terms of stability risks? Are there any parts of the financial sector that concern you right now? And uh, are there any significant systemic issues that uh, are on your radar, you know, maybe from the cryptocurrency sector or something like that? You know, we have we have uh, had now for uh, a decade and more a four part financial stability framework that we use so we can we can hold ourselves to the same kind of uh, framework and, and uh, you know, not just treat each each event individually. And, and there, there are four key areas, asset valuations, debt owed by households and businesses, funding risk and leverage among financial institutions. So I would say. Asset valuations, I'm going to go really superficially here, but asset valuations are, are somewhat elevated, I would say. Debt owed by businesses you know, and, and households. Households are in very strong financial shape. Businesses actually have a lot of debt, but their default rates are, are very, very low. Uh, but nonetheless, it's something we're watching. Funding risk is... Uh, it by and large low uh, among, uh, among financial institutions, but, uh, but we do see uh, money market funds as a vulnerability and, and uh, uh, you know, would applaud uh, the, the SEC's action uh, this week. Leverage among financial institutions is low in the sense that capital is high. So overall, uh, you know, financial stability, uh, th that's how I would, I, I would make an overall characteristic, but we break it down into those pieces. In terms of the things you know that we're that we're looking for, uh, looking at, um, you know, the, uh, the it's it's the things we've already talked about to some extent. It's it's the emergence of a new variant that could, uh, you know, that could lead to significant uh, economic. If it were if there were to be a variant, for example, that were quite resistant to vaccines, it could have another significant effect on the economy. We don't see that. We don't have any basis for thinking that the new variant that we have. Is that one? But it's certainly one we're we're looking at. Um, I I would say you know cyber risk, the risk of a successful cyber attack, is for me uh, you know always the most uh, you know one that we uh, we would be very difficult to deal with. I think we know uh, how to deal with bad loans and things like that. I think more a cyber attack that were to take down a major financial institution or financial market utility would be a a really significant financial stability risk that we haven't actually faced yet. So um, I could go on with a list of horribles, but I think that's a, that's a, that's a decent picture of where I would start. Um, how about the cryptocurrency uh, issues? Anything that uh, worries you there that's going on in there in terms of, you know, I mean, it's obviously a lot of time in that sector. Is that on concern you at all? You know, the, I think the concerns there are not so much current financial stability concerns. I, of course, would support the, the views expressed in the President's Working Group report on stable coins. Stable coins can certainly be a useful, efficient, consumer-serving uh, part of the financial system if they're properly regulated. And right now, they, they aren't. And, and, and they have the potential to scale, particularly if they were to be uh, you know, associated with one of the uh, very large tech networks that exist, and and you, you could have a, a payment network that was immediately systemically important, close to immediately systemically important, that didn't have appropriate regulation and protections. The public relies on uh, on the government and and the Fed in particular to make sure that the payment system is safe and reliable, as well as the the dollar, and you know the, to provide a safe and reliable trusted currency. So. But I do think those are longer term. In terms of, um, you know, the more uh, the cryptocurrencies, uh, you know, that are really uh, speculative assets, uh, I don't see them as a financial stability concern uh, um, at the moment. I do think they are risky. They're not backed by anything, and um, uh, I think there's a there's big consumer. Uh, uh, consumer issues for consumers who may or may not understand what they're getting, and there's certainly. Um, developments in the in the markets that are worth following, which are really not in our jurisdiction, but things like you know the kind of leverage that that's built into and those sorts of things, is certainly worth worth watching.